If you're preparing to survive a loss of the electric grid, then a solar power generator is one of the best ways to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a solar generator to power your entire house, including heavy appliances like central air conditioning. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping households get their house set up to be, able to be able to survive a loss of the electric grid. And oftentimes that involves installing a renewable energy system uh, or what's sometimes known as a solar generator. And so what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video is what is a solar generator and how can you install one to protect the power system for your home? So first, let's take a look at the three main types of solar power system. The first type is the off-the-grid system. An off-the-grid system can be portable, which sometimes you see the uh, small portable wheeled kits, or it can also be a fixed installation. But the key differentiator with an off-grid system is that it works completely independent of any other power source. So think of it like a, uh, just like a, a fuel burning generator. It does not need any connection to the utility grid to function, and it can operate in a completely standalone environment. With an off-grid solar system, you have three main system components. The first, of course, are your solar panels, which allow you to harvest energy from the sun. The second component is the battery bank. Uh, think of the battery bank as your, your energy storage or your fuel storage tank. So whatever energy you don't have to spend right away, you can store the excess in your battery bank for use at a later time. And then the third component is what's called an inverter. Uh, and what an inverter does is it converts low voltage, generally low voltage DC power, direct current, coming off your solar panels and your batteries, uh, up into high voltage AC power that you can use for your appliances, whether you're just plugging a, an extension cord directly into the unit to use power tools or uh, portable equipment, uh, or in many cases, actually feeding the circuit breaker panel uh, in your building. Uh, for example, like a, a hunting cabin or something of that sort, you might run the entire building's electrical system using an off-grid solar power system. The second type, and this is actually the most popular type of solar for homes here in America, is what's called the grid-tied solar system. With the grid-tied solar system, you have solar panels and an inverter, so you've got a means of converting the, the power coming directly off the panels into usable alternating current power that can be either powering the home or, uh, in many cases, sold back to the power company. And the nice thing about the grid-tied system is that it doesn't require you to have your own energy storage or battery uh, bank. So this helps you save on cost and really focusing on maximizing your dollar for dollar payback. And then the third type of system here is what we call the hybrid solar power system. And very simply, the hybrid system has the ability to operate in both modes. It can run off the grid standalone if utility power is not available, but it can also let you take advantage of selling energy back and forth with the power company to help reduce your electric bill. So we're gonna be looking at some of the uh, characteristics of each system type and determine which one might be the correct one for you. But when we're talking about a solar generator, we're generally talking about a solar system that can run independent of the power company. So that means either the off-grid system or what more of our clients choose to do is the hybrid system. And I'm gonna explain why in a little bit. Okay, next let's take a look at the difference be between the off-grid system and the grid-tied system. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the off-grid system can work completely standalone, so there's no uh, counterparty risk, there's no third-party risk. Uh, also, uh, likewise, there's very minimal paperwork that you have to do. Uh, since we're not going to be hooking up to the power company, uh, you don't necessarily have to disclose to the power company, or in many cases, uh, even to your local jurisdiction, what equipment you're going to be installing. Um, another benefit of the off-grid system is lower uh, initial cost to get started. Uh, if you're a more of a, a do-it-yourself inclined person, some smaller off-grid systems can be installed uh, by the system owner directly. However, one downside with this approach is that you're going to forfeit having a, uh, a warranty uh, backed by a company. So if something goes wrong, you want to make sure that you're prepared to, uh, to fix it or do any adjustments that might be needed. Now, on the other hand, the grid-tied system, this is really for somebody who's looking to maximize the dollar-for-dollar -dollar payback uh, on the investment. 
Um, because we are, in, in most cases, hooking up with the power company, we have to go through a full uh, engineering and permitting process. Uh, installing grid-tied solar is really like doing any other type of addition on the house. Uh, we have to do engineering plans, and then we have to uh, apply for both building permits and electrical permits. Uh, because the permits are required to be pulled, that means a, a licensed contractor and a licensed electrician have to be involved in the project. Uh, it's going to be those contractors' licenses that are sort of on the line for the quality of that installation. And when the installation is complete, the local jurisdiction, which is usually your city or county government, is going to have to come out to do a final inspection before you're hooked up to be able to sell power back and forth with the power company. Okay. One benefit of the grid-tied system, of course, though, is since you have a licensed contractor that's doing it, and hopefully a bona fide company behind that contractor, uh, you are typically going to get a professional warranty, which could be anywhere from five up to 25 years. So you, as the system owner, don't necessarily have to worry about performing any repairs or maintenance on the system. However, one of the big drawbacks with the grid-tied only system is that you have no backup power meaning you, you have no standalone capability like you do with the off-grid system or the, the, the more solar generator type system. With a grid-tied system, if utility service goes down, your home is still going to be without electricity. So this is a major drawback. And that's why many of our clients choose to install the hybrid system. As we mentioned earlier, the hybrid solar power system gives you the benefits of both system architectures. It is both a fully functional off-the-grid system so if utility power is not available, you can still continue to power all the critical systems within your home, or if it's a hunting cabin or any kind of a, a recreational property, you can run that completely standalone from the power company. However, if utility service is available, it gives you the ability also to take advantage of selling your solar energy back to the power company. So it gives you the double benefit, number one, having a secure power supply that's never going to be, so that the property is never going to be without electricity. And number two, having it pay you back every month in the form of uh, reducing or eliminating your electric bill. Uh, of course, just like the grid tie system, we have to go through that same engineering and permitting process. So for the hybrid system, you do generally have to have this installed uh, by a licensed professional contractor along with a professional master electrician. But it does give you that full energy independence. And another benefit of the hybrid system and being able to purchase through a, a licensed uh, contractor and a professional solar company is that in many cases you are able to finance the purchase of the solar power system so that you can essentially use what you're saving off your monthly electric bill to cover the cost of your monthly payment for the solar power system. So if you're looking for a way that you can protect your home from a loss of the electric grid without having to pay anything really out of pocket, the hybrid solar system allows you to do that because you can just divert a certain amount of money off of your electric company bill towards your solar financing payment instead and make sure that your house is protected from day one. So here are some of the questions that you need to ask yourself, right? What, what are your needs? The first are, what are your power requirements? Are you looking for a solar generator that can power just small portable hand tools like a, maybe a cordless drill or a, a saw, uh, maybe chargers for your laptop or cell phone. Is that going to be sufficient for your emergency power needs? Or are you looking for something that's a little bit more heavy duty that can run some of your heavier appliances like central air conditioning or your microwave uh, or even uh, your well pump? Uh, many of our clients that choose to, to protect their property for a grid down live in rural areas where you typically have an independent water and septic system. And so in those cases, you'll need a backup power source to make sure that you can keep the water and the septic and the other, the other critical systems in the house powered up even during a prolonged uh, emergency. Another question you want to consider is, uh, do you need financing? Uh, for a do-it-yourself project, typically uh, you would have to arrange your own financing, perhaps with, with your own bank or a private lender. Whereas if you choose to have a professionally installed either grid tie or hybrid system, generally the contractor will offer you financing. And again, that allows you to just use your electric bill savings to, to help cover the cost of your solar. So it's not really costing you that much out of pocket. Another question, of course, is do you need a warranty, right? 
Um, are you looking to have a system professionally installed where you can kind of sit back and don't have to worry about it? Or are you okay taking on more of a do-it-yourself type project where you are okay with doing the routine maintenance and any repairs that come up? So it's an important question to ask yourself. And of course, you know, if you're, you're talking about a roof-mounted solar system, which 80% of the systems that, uh, the projects that, that I've done have been roof-mounted, you know, you want to consider, is that something that you're going to be able and willing to do, uh, potentially to get up on your roof to uh, check any wiring or you know, anything that might come up that needs attention? So you really want to make sure you have a, have a clear understanding. Do you need that warranty or not? Uh, and then finally, I would ask yourself, what is your personal level of proficiency? You know, when I started out in solar, I used to do the installations as well. And the solar installer is, uh, it's got to be kind of a, a jack of all trades, but the top three would be part electrician. You have to know how to do uh, high voltage and low voltage wiring, both alternating current and direct current. You also have to be part roofer. At the very least, you have to be able to um, access and maneuver on a roof safely uh, and be able to identify where structural attachments to the roof can be made, which means you know, un understanding where to find where the rafters are. And then finally, the solar installer has to be a little bit, little bit carpenter, a little bit sort of general contractor. You know, sometimes figuring, figuring routes to uh, install your electrical conduits from point A to point B and sometimes doing uh, minor drywall repair and things of that sort. So another question I would ask yourself is, you know, what is your level of proficiency? Do you feel comfortable in all three of these trades uh, where you might uh, potentially attempt a self-install? Otherwise, if you'd like to have a licensed professional handle it for you, uh, go ahead and reach out to us. You can either get us on the link below here in the uh, description area, or you can go ahead and just send a comment into this video, and we can help you get connected with a qualified installation professional in your area. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna look at is, is my home even a good fit for solar? Now, in many cases, as I mentioned earlier, most solar systems are installed on the roof of the home. And in this part of the world, which is the Northern Hemisphere, generally we want to have the solar panels placed in an area where you're gonna get good southern exposure so that you'll get good both morning and afternoon sunlight exposure onto the solar panels. Uh, we also are gonna want minimal shading. So uh, in most cases, you can just kind of step out to the southern side of your property uh, and take a look, Do you, you know, are you getting good direct sunlight uh, to that side of your property or do you see any shadows that are cast by any nearby trees. Another thing that we can do for you is to do a detailed what we call preliminary solar analysis or PSA. Uh, we can do that using our design software and what this allows us to do is model not only what the exposure would be based on the path that the sun will take during different parts of the year, but we can also model in trees and other obstructions that might cause uh, a shadow on your property at certain times of the day. So if you don't feel comfortable necessarily doing the analysis yourself, again, just go ahead and, and reach out to us on the link below or you can send in a comment to this video and we can run the preliminary solar analysis for you. There's absolutely no charge to you. And in most cases, we can have the results back to you within 24 hours. Just make sure you either, either message us through social media or provide an email address where we can send the uh, uh, it's usually a one-page report, and we can send that back to you. So folks, this has been how you can install a solar power generator to protect your home from a loss of the power grid. Uh, as always, if you find the information here useful, make sure that you click on that like and subscribe button. And of course, make sure you share this link to all those that you think will benefit from it. Well, as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.